going on in the world out here in the corporate credit world. Also to educate you regarding some truckers out there. Hey, truckers, 10 fours, you want to say, all right. Hey, good job out there. What you guys doing? Just want to let you know that we're out there with you. And thank you very much for being with us. And one of the things we're looking forward to is sharing with you live today. <clears throat> and on top of that, to go ahead and um, I, I have a little scratchy throat. So all I want to say is glad to see you folks. Glad to see you here. Okay, so now let's just go ahead and begin. And we'll go ahead and move slowly. Get alive on both. To move slowly and to move and other areas to go ahead and let you folks know that we're gonna go ahead and do a new share for a moment. And then we're gonna go right back to uh, our normal broadcasting as well, <laughs> as you wanna say. So I wanna say thank you very much for you folks being there and being here. And it's awesome to go ahead and see you. That's the corporate credit blueprint that we showed you there. All right, folks, thank you very much for being with us tonight. You get to see us live, all the stuff we're doing on some of the corrections that weren't done in time. So that you guys get to play with us this way. And like I said, we do everything transparent. We transfer, we're not gonna go ahead and uh, make it clean. We're not gonna go ahead and do it where it uh, has a little different situation on it where we disappear, how to put something on the floor, all the good stuff. And so you really get to see it live. And if you want the professional one, we can go ahead and edit it and make it real look really pretty for you and everything else. But you know what? Here's the real thing. The real thing is this is that what we're looking for is to give you the real stuff. And here at Corporate Credit Blueprints, that's what we do. And we give you a, a, lot of, a lot of raw information that's straight and also for the fact checkers out there to do their checking. It's not a problem with that. We actually enjoy that. So let's go ahead and move forward. I just want to say, first of all, folks, I can tell you honestly, do not. Do not mess around with the COVID. I'm telling you, folks, I, we, I just lost a friend yesterday very dear he was with he had my my back my six he's done everything I and mean, his name's Sonny, and he's done a really great job and I, for those of you that uh that have prayed out there for people that have COVID I want to thank you for the prayers and for his family because now uh, now they have to go ahead and do the completion of it which is preparing the funeral and everything else and um and so on so again uh just guys know it's not it's it's not a joke and not, and it's not a pretty sight in some cases. So I just want to let you know. Uh, last night was a really uh, humbling experience to to see someone that you're just. Man, I love the guy. The guy was great. So, all right, folks. So we pay tribute to the Sonny, and thank you, Sonny, for everything you did for me. And you've always been there, and you rode with me when times I never thought I'd get through. So thanks for being that kind of guy. All right, folks. Today we're going to go ahead. And corporate credit blueprints. Let's move on. All right. So what I want to go ahead and say to you, folks, what we're going to learn today is a lot of different things. I'm going to go over different areas, different places. But here's one thing for you: you're always going to learn something in corporate credit blueprints. Here's one thing. Uh, first of all, here's the here's the here's a phone number to get it out of the way. I really don't put it on the screen except the end, but it's 888-471-4252, extension 2001. All right. Now, also what I want to tell you folks is, again, thank you for being here tonight. Let's get rolling. Next thing I want to tell you about for the truckers. This is a trucker. This is kind of a road or a business for the funding for them. But one thing uh, truckers run into, if you're over a road trucker looking for funding for your business, here's some things that you guys will run into. Most people don't really tell you this is what you're going to run into, but you will. Like if you need cash to grow, to expand, to get another tractor or to get started, or to or, or whatever tread water this is this is information or a guide for you and if we have more deeper guides for you if you give us a call or go to the website at uh, www.corporatecreditblueprints.com put your information in there we'll call you and we'll schedule a time to speak with you because we know you're on the road all right but first of all let's look at some of the uh the special characteristics of over the road trucking business over the road trucking business considered a high risk industry. Now, is that good or bad? Well, for applying for corporate credit, it can be for some of your truckers. And for some conversations I had with you this weekend, it spoke to you uh, all around about. And, and prior is that that's one of the things you run into because it's say a high risk. Well, no one's ever trained you and gave you the information 
so you can win, so you don't fall into the classification. Now, this is a per SIC standard industrial classification, the NAICS, North American Industry Classification System Standards. Normally, high risk industries have something in common. They can be high risk of injury on the job or an industry may engage in a lot of cash transactions. This is true regardless of safety record or a particular business or the majority of the transaction types. Trucking comes under the injury risk umbrella. Conventional banks are not a good place to look for loans for high risk industries. Over 89% of business applications are denied by the big banks. Again, 80 Nine percent. Uh, high risk industries are subject to stricter underwriting guidelines. Is it possible to get loans for conventional sources? Is it easy? Of course it is. And once you understand what, how and what it needs to be done, there's alternative, alternative lenders are often your best bet. And what's not written down here, see, we structure your organization so it's under an umbrella where the umbrella company is a business management that manages the trucking part of it. The business management will get the, the cards that the company needs to pass down to the trucking part of the business. Those of you that have a trucking business, they're in business, and you're having challenges, call us and we'll re... This is what I mean by repackaging your life. This is one thing they never taught you in school. Even on the, Even this, folks, even on the personal side, on the personal side of credit, they have never, ever, ever spoke to you or taught you about personal credit. Because if they did, guess what? We wouldn't have the problems you have with personal credit, yet alone business credit. Personal credit is, is, was never made to be for business, but people force it that way. Corporate credit or business credit, how you guys call it, was designed exactly for that. We get five times higher the credit limit than usually would get on a personal card. Now, let me explain what I mean to you why I say this. The reason why I'm saying that you don't need to use your personal side is once you begin to understand why, because the personal side is this, the personal side was never meant to teach you in school, in grade school, how to use credit, how to keep your credit straight, how to go ahead and beat the game. Because everybody then would at least have a chance out there in the world to have, you know, a 740, a 800 score, and then start having the cards, you know, with 10,000, 40,000, 100,000, 50,000 dollars credit limit, so they can put something together in life. This is what the corporate credit allows you to do. And on top of that, you don't have to worry about percentages what you use. You can use 100 percent of the card, and you're okay. But on the personal side, man, use 100 percent, man, you're okay. You got the red flag on you. So I just want to let you know, folks, for the tra uh, truckers or anyone else, but the truckers especially, because they run into this, and it's not, uh, it's not a fair system if you don't know it. This is what we're, we're special at. This is what we do. This is how we do things. We, we make things that it makes it easier so you can understand what you can do. The guide will start you with outline a dozen of great alternative lenders. lenders. But one thing about financing, for over your truckers, we can also learn to teach you how to have your trucks leased in the area. Don't buy a truck, lease a truck. And we'll get you set up so you can lease a truck so you're not in the high industry at all. So you don't have to, you, you can actually buy stuff that, but it's a very, very, very awesome. This is a structure that a lot of people use that understand the difference between corporate credit and personal credit. As a truck driver, I understand some of you put your, your, whole family's life on the line in in terms of financial and also inside of the bringing the pain home this way you won't ever bring the pain home if, if, even if you miss something the bottom line is debt follows tax id folks debt follow tax id and let me tell you those of you that are not incorporated or don't have an llc or an unincorporated uh, position call us and we'll help you set it up. We won't even charge you for that to give you the direction of what you need to do. Here's a reason. Here's the purpose. Here's the gift for you. People, I, I listen to the stuff out there. No one's saying this. I haven't heard it. So again, fact checkers, if it's out there, I'm glad you, you email me and say, hey, well, this company has, this company has. That's cool. Let, 
I like fact checkers because it keeps me it keeps me learning. All right, here's here's the here's the gift. The gift to you is this: if you incorporate now, or an LLC now, or do the unincorporated now, as long as it's stamped and you have your tax ID open and a bank account open, all right. Or if you're already open and you're just kind of like all over the place, you need someone to assist you to package everything to to restructure everything and to go ahead and repackage your whole organization so it's now more ta uh, manageable for yourself, call us. But here's the gift. The thing is, those of you who do it right now are not, that are not incorporated, and those of you who just incorporated this year, when January, uh, when January 1st hits of 2021, you will be in business for two years because even they count the last day of the year of you being in business for the year, on December 31st at 11.59 and 59 seconds, if it's stamped at that time, on December 31st, even a second before the New Year's, you're considered one year in business. So when, Jan when January 2021 rolls around, you could honestly put down on the corporate application, you've been in business for two years. I'll tell you later why that's important, but at least that's one thing to understand. Why is it important? Even if you don't know a business, folks, I don't care if you make up a name called uh, Abba Zabba Inc. Or Abba Zabba doing business as Abba Zabba. The thing is, as long as it gets marked this time, you'll have that mark. So you'll have a, comp a, a, a place or the business in business for a year. And then 2021 shows up. You've been in business for two years. You can start building your business credit. And then on top of that, when you figure out what you want to do, you'll have business credit to go ahead and just be a beast at what you want to do all right whoa my oh i didn't monitor these this time the gal that did it for me okay she wants to wake me up <laughs> okay wow wakey wakey okay um <laughs> this is funny all right about dun and brad as well this is for again everybody wants you this is the stuff you really want to begin to get to the core of you because a lot of people oh, I, 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 Everyone can tell you what to do, how to build it, but you, there's some things you really want to understand for yourself. The exact definition from Dun & Bradstreet is this, that Dun & Brad Paydex score is a DMV unique dollar weighted numerical indicator. Remember, unique dollar, dollar weighted. If you don't know what that means, yeah, that just means what it says, dollar weighted, $1, $3,000, $3,000, $20,000, say. okay? So those are the things that are weighted. This is why when we, when we at Corporate Credit Blueprints work with you, there's a lot of stuff we can go ahead and do to have stuff uh, to assist you in getting those high volumes. And that's why it's weighted, which means the higher dollar amount when you first begin, and let's say you have uh, two cards at 3,000 a piece or even a, a vendor at 3,000 a piece and you have someone else reporting uh, 6,500 a piece and someone reporting 8,500 a piece. Now, that whole weighted unique dollar numerical amount indicators of how your firm pays its bills with all that dollar amount, those dollar amount is weighted all together. So the bills over the past year based on trade experiences reported to Dun & Brad by various vendors. Now back up, folks. Bills paid over the past year based on trade experience reported to Dun & Brad by various vendors. Back up. Bills paid over the past year. They're telling you about history. So let me tell you, if you had a business years ago and you had a good piece that you're still paying because you kept it, do you realize you can take that good piece, a good piece and put it on, on Dun & Brad with, with that new company you have? And there's a way to do it, to have it clean. So when it reports, even though you've been in business for one year, it'll show that you've been in business for 17 years or 10 years or five years if you can prove it. Or if the credit report has a five-year reporting history on it and Dun & Brad okays it because they verify everything and it goes on your report, you have five years of history automatically on a company that's been just born either last night 
yesterday or a year ago or two years ago. This is what's so important about this. It really lets you know there's a big difference. There's a difference between a business paid X score and an individual FICO consumer credit score. It's easier to get a paid X score than it is to get a FICO consumer credit score, even though you can do these things to do the stuff on the credit stuff, which is fine. You, you want the, the, your credit, personal credit to have a higher dollar amount than what you spend, of course, and you want it to be under 20% at 25% at the best 30, 30 max. Okay, so these are the things that we want to let you know that the consumer credit was not made. I'm not saying don't take care of it. What I'm saying is that you don't want to do that to go ahead and hurt yourself, which means you bring the pain home in the personal side. So they knock on your door and say, hey, where are you at? You owe us. But on the business side of it, even if you're working out of the house, it's still tax, debt follows tax ID. Debt follows tax ID. Excuse me, we're taking a drink of water. All right. Now, with this, also, can the consumer FICO credit score ranges from 350 to 850, okay? The Paydex score ranges from zero to 100. 100 is the highest score you can get, all right? 100 is like an 850. 95 is like an 850. 25 and it goes down 90, 85. You want to be at least at 80 and above. 80 and above. If you're 85 and above on the Dun and Brad Paydex score, you start getting way different offers in the mail already. And you'll have stuff and you'll get some cash credit offers. Some will be 30 day nets and some won't. There's a credit card out there right now, which you all know. Well, I'm mean, you all know. But if you don't know, here's this the ARCO BP or the BP credit card. Now, you usually have to have three years worth of business and you have to have at least a minimum about 10 to 14 cards, open accounts reporting, all right? This is very serious because they're gonna give you some credit. But yet, I'm gonna tell you that for all your new people, you can go to ARCO BP or BP itself and apply for the card. What they're going to do to you when you get done, they're going to call you, some guy or gal will call you and say, well, no, we, uh, we can approve you, but we can't approve you for the normal thing. P apply for the MasterCard. Because a, the, the Arco BP, if you get that one, if it's a MasterCard, you can use it anywhere you want. Okay? You can use it to buy a, a Christmas gift. You can write, use it to buy roses or gas, oil change, tires. But you don't want to do that for time. Uh, MasterCards, what I like saving those for, even though I have availability, I like saving those for really cash emergencies or payroll. Payroll is the most important part. You always got to make sure you have money for your payroll for your people. That's why you want to learn to what vendor credit, business credit, and trade credit, what you can use those for, like tires. Why do that when you can go ahead and apply a tire company and become a... Now, this is one thing I haven't said in a long time. Someone mentioned it to me the other day. Why not go ahead and become a wholesaler for, uh, let's say, be of Goodrich Tires and order your tires at wholesale and then just take them down to the dealership or, or a tire shop and ask them to put it on for you. Take them off, put them on, they'll charge you whatever they charge you, but at least it's not going to be the, uh, their retail price for anything other than just putting this stuff, the tires on it, balancing and, and whatever you're going to do, get a front end alignment. That is smart because now you're not using your cash credit card. Don't use cash if you don't have to. Cash should be saved for your payroll. Your payroll, payroll, payroll. That's what your cash should be saved for. Don't be like, oh, I'm, I'm cash. Man, I don't care if you have $100,000 million in cash. But if I have $200 million of vendor and trade credit and the cash, I'm going to use the vendor credit before I ever use my cash. Why? because I don't need the cash to use what I want. Folks, you gotta begin to think about your business. For your truckers, same thing. You could not buy a truck, you're gonna lease a truck. And if you haven't figured out why I'm saying leasing the truck, what happens with the truck as time goes on? If, it, if you're buying it, you have what to take, you have what? You have maintenance, you have this, you have that. And then eventually, if you're gonna get old, why not return the truck every two or three years? Come on, come on. This way you're, and, and with the corporate credit, it doesn't matter. You can lease a new truck and turn it in. At least you know what's going on and you got a brand new truck and your maintenance level cost is down. And the lease is a write-off, folks. I'm not here to be your attorney. 
I'm not here to be your financial advisor. I'm not here to be your CPA or uh, accountant or uh, whatever they call the CPA, what the abbreviation stands for. All I want to let you know is this. It's a write-off. And if you want two good uh, accountants, I have two great ones that are good at what they do and they'll break it down for you because uh, they know a lot of the codes. In fact, a lot of people don't even know what, 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 what 179 is. A lot of you don't understand. 179 is awesome if you know how to use it. And if you know how to use the code 179 of the IRS and know how to read it right, you also want to have a professional, what I mean professional, bookkeeper. Some bookkeepers are sharper than CPAs. Now, let me tell you why. My experience is that since the, the bookkeepers are, and I'm not talking about the ones that, that actually know what to do. And not a bookkeeper just adds two plus two. They research, they do this, and they bring you stuff once a week. Hey, did you know you can do this? Did you know you can do this? And then I can, and I ask, well, how do you know that? Well, because I checked over here, it's over there, and I even called the IRS and asked them. Hey, and they explained it to me. And they sent this to me. Folks, I'm telling you for a reason is IRS 179 is awesome. Well, awesome puppy. There's a lot you can do with it. All right. Now, the individual scores that we want to talk about about the Dun & Brad factor is this. Individual credit scores come from several factors. The paydex scores come from one signal, one single factor. It's if a business makes prompt payment to the supplier and creditors within agreed upon terms of payments, most lenders and suppliers are looking for a score of 70 and higher. Now think about that. 70 and higher is what they're looking for. Now with that said, what does that tell you when you have an 80? What does that tell you when you have an 85? What does that tell you when you have a 90? Okay, a score of 80 is better. Of course, like I said, it's very good. If you own a business, your pay to score is essential to establishing new credit and continuing to build credit limits exceeding $100,000. Now, I kept the number low because a lot of people I know that are here on YouTube, that are on Facebook, even some of you that are listening right now, the thing is, is that you don't really believe the numbers because you're not taught to train the numbers. You're taught to believe, oh, a possibility, oh, my, my personal credit, oh, yes, oh, yes, and then you pay this and you pay that, and it takes you 20, 24 months to 36 months to even see that number. Now, some of you get involved with other areas and, and out there, there's some things you can go ahead and do will happen, can happen a little quicker. But the average Joe does not have that money to pay for those things. If you're a person that wants to do it correctly and you don't have the funds or you, got, you need to go uh, sell Coke bottles or whatever you got to do or work three jobs to afford those services, and then hope on a dream that'll get done like they say, I'm not saying there's not a very good, there's, I'm not saying there's not prompt people out there on the personal credit side, but there's some, you know, and every, every, every barrel of apples, there's always a bad apple eventually. Okay. So even the corporate credit world, I've seen a lot of stuff. I had someone actually call me, uh, Saturday, Saturday, yes, Saturday and excuse me, Saturday and they were talking about they've been here, they've been there, and they come back when I first started in 1985, and we talked about some of the people, and he's gone the people that he's been burned by. <laughs> and he says he paid this, they disappeared, they did this, and they disappeared. They, I, I don't understand this. It's like this. If you have a good product, why would you disappear on people? They're counting on you. And so again, whoever does that in the industry, folks, they should be slapped, branded, and I don't know. But that, that's, just, that's just downright wrong. But anyways, and that's true. So if you own a business, this is one thing I said. The reason why I say $100,000 is because you wouldn't believe I told you a million. The reason why you won't believe that you're a million because you never taste anything. For those of you that have a million dollars worth of in credit, not corporate credit, and personal credit, then you understand what I'm talking about because you came from zero to a million. Somebody that have like uh, half a million dollars in corporate credit, you understand it. Something that might have $1.2 million in corporate credit, you could believe it. But when I tell you $42 million, oh, come on. But you're not willing to take the time. That'll take about five, uh, three to five years to do that if you do it correctly. And that's quick and not messing around, which means when you say X, you do X. Or, you know, again, 
I tell people this, I can build all the stuff for you, but I'm going to charge you because again, you're taking time away from the, 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 the team has to take time away from other people. And it's, it's expensive because we're doing everything. You're not doing anything. The only thing I don't like about that teaching people is this. I mean, not teaching people. The only reason why I don't like not teaching you when a storm shows up, you're not going to know what to do. And sometimes you can, I have people call me before when they're all done, they get in trouble. Oh my God, I did this. Uh -huh, uh, whatever. And I, and I don't have the time right now. I, I'll pay you 300,000. I said, no, I can't. I mean, it's not the money. It's the time and the people that I made promises to. That's why I say it's best if you really do learn or if you can pay and learn as you go. But if I have to handhold you, that's not a problem, but it, it's expensive because it takes one factor out. And, I, and um, I don't mind doing them, but I'd rather teach you so when the storm comes, you know, oh, I know what to do. I need to move this to here and do this because the storm's coming. Like the storm, like the, that lights behind me, you see in the background, the, uh, the, the screen, whatever you call that stuff behind you. That's how this, it's always out there moving around. You just never know what's going to hit. Are you ready? Look at how many people got caught with their panties down in the COVID-19. They weren't prepared because they always, oh, look at me. We're making money. Make it, what's that movie? Making money or whatever it is. Making paper. <laughs> I don't know the song, but I heard it, but I don't know it. But anyways, with that said, a lot of people got caught and they weren't ready. And then, you know, they thought, oh, great, I have a good business. We're making money. But they didn't have a spare. A spare means this. I'm not talking you had money in the bank, the money that you earn. Why would you dare even want to put that money on the table to say in case? If you would have understood the power of corporate credit, the power of corporate credit, a lot of you would have been sitting pretty now because if you would have built it up enough, you would have had a card, at least one card with $750,000 on it been a period of 24 months to 36 months, you would have had one card for sure. Maybe more, but I'm just telling you one because I know that for a fact you had one. Plus, I don't want to say how many more you would have because, again, it comes to your level of belief and I'm not going to even, I don't deal with that. Either you believe or you don't. Can't force you to believe anything you don't want to. If your own skepticism is your own bag of rocks that you have to carry around, then so what? So be it. As they say, as you say it, as it is written, so it shall be. You say it again. What does it say in Proverbs? You shall eat the fruits of your words. So be careful what you say. So now you had no money there. But if you had $750,000 available to you, do you think maybe you could have weathered it a little bit and maybe tighten down your ship a little bit and bring down a little bit that your employees a little bit or split up where everyone still could work but at different hours like shorter shifts but still have something to work with? Or, of course, you know, you would have found out better at that time. You know what? Until they change anything, you know, go to unemployment for a little while. Let me get some things straightened out. Because they would have did fine for a couple of months, three or four or five, six months. They would have been fine at least, you know, and then bring them back to work when things shift. So I just want to say is that, folks, having corporate credit will always, always, always take care of you if you take care of it. Boy, what did she do tonight? Man, she feels surprised with the PowerPoint. Okay. Now, this is a fact, but a lot of people let life get in the way. There's nothing wrong with it, but I'm just letting you know. Now, when we do it, that's a fact. When you do it, we can't guarantee that. We can't guarantee 60 days. If you paid us to do everything, that 60 days you will have what it says on the paper, on the paper, on the PowerPoint. It only takes 60 days to establish a Paydex score. You first apply for the DUNS number. This is a nine-digit business identifying number, just like your social security number. This is why I say debt follows tax ID. Debt follows tax ID. Debt follows Dun and Brad. Debt follows Dun and Brad. Debt follows Dun and Brad. Okay? Now, besides this, once you get a DUNS number, you establish... The next thing you find is a merchant who will extend your credit. Well, we already know where to go and where to send you. The question is, would you do it in that day? Do you realize you can get your Dun & Brad pretty quick within 24 to 48 hours, depending what you submit to them? Okay? Or you just let, if you want to let them just figure it out and find all the information, forget it. You're going to wait about two weeks, a month. 
Anyways, so to establish your, now you can get it quicker in some other ways, which if you're in our training, we tell you how as well. There's other ways to go ahead and get it within 24 hours, but you gotta, there's some things you need to do. And I don't talk about this on here because it's not the class, but I know you all got class. All right, so now you find a merchant who extend it. Well, we tell you all the merchants are, and it's not always merchants. Some gas cars, I just gave you one. I think I just gave you one. No, I didn't I give you one. Yeah, um, what is his number? Well, on that one, we have credit cards you can get, gas cards you can get. Once you have a positive business credit report from Dun & Bradstreet, you'll receive a Paydex score. And 60 days means this. We will tell you, if you start, let's say you started on the first, and we tell you, okay, great, you get your number back in, let's say a week, all right? We tell you, okay, great, you got your tax ID already done, because tax ID takes 20 minutes. You already went to the bank and got your checking account set up. You already had your phone number already get listed on how you get it listed, okay? And an 800 number, I'm telling you, 800, 800, 800. Uh, you can go to uh, a lot of places and get at the 800 for a dollar, for a uh, excuse me, uh, for a dollar, for like 12 bucks a month. Uh, and a web website for $2 a month. And, and an inexpensive one, nothing crazy, but it will have your, your company name, the address, the phone number, website, all that good stuff. So, <clears throat> what I want to go ahead and say is, that what's happening is that you and I forgot to tell you folks, I never shifted back to the uh, original site to uh, the PowerPoint. I don't know if you saw it, if you saw it, but uh, sorry. Let me go ahead and bring it up for you folks. My team is telling me, hey, you're on the wrong screen. All right. Now let me see now. Mr. Tech, how am I doing? Do I have it back on the right screen for these people? Like I said, this is live, guys. <laughs> am I back on the right screen? For them? You're on it, Greg. All righty, cool. All right, folks. And that's what we have the tech guy keep me uh, posted. But anything, everything I tell you was in right now, you can see what I'm talking about here. So then what's coming up is pretty good. All right. So now from this point, take your pad and pen and paper and just uh, get a cup of coffee and just kind of listen to the information. But we'll get you the merchants, we'll get you the right cards and everything else. And we'll get you gas cards, we'll get you a gas card right away, even a couple right away. I like to get that done out of the way because at least you have a tangible item to see what you're doing. And okay, great. Better than ordering from some places. Some some stuff is useless, but it's it's good to go ahead and have those merchants because they report fairly fairly well. They give you a high limit, and that's pretty good. So you end up with you know two companies with forty, you know three thousand each. You have a, a gas company that we're reporting you know anywhere from maybe two thousand to six thousand on your account. All I'm going to say is it's really great to have that. So, and so the thing is is that we make sure you you get it. You can have it done in sixty days, and the only thing you have to worry about is it. You've got to do that part of it. So we're not going to be able to do it for you because of the fact it's, uh, uh, it, you know, that's, that's what you do. Now, if you want the service for that, then that's a whole nother game. See, most people don't understand it does take something when you first begin. It's like when you first begin uh, working out. You know, you work out, you're okay, great. You're all excited for the first three, three weeks. And all of a sudden you, you start hitting that soreness. Oh my God, I don't want, it's the same thing in building credit. Now you're gonna to have to wait. 60 days is not that long to wait, folks. And there's a way quicker way to go ahead and, and establish the credit in 30 days, but that is a project. Now, that's a project. That you gotta call the office. Definitely gotta call the office. 888-471-8242, extension 2001. You wanna call during the East Coast time. You wanna call East Coast time, East Coast time at 12 East Coast and seven East Coast. All right, next thing. Let's see now if I got surprised on this one. All right. Boop, boop. All right, so once you got the Paydex score, we tell you then apply for more business credit cards. Make sure your Paydex, you pay back early to raise your score to 80 or higher. You can easily and quickly establish a positive Paydex score as you continue to pay your bills on time and your scores will continue to rise. 
This makes it possible to qualify for credit in your business name. I'm going to tell you, you should, when I say never, never with a uh, pause and wait, which means this, never apply or never personal guarantee for business credit. Now, with the caveat to that, if you're going to get anywhere between, I say between, I have to give a number because I would just say flat out, if you're not getting $150,000, forget it. But I'm going to kind of go through this because I won't be so harsh. From thirty dollars to $150,000, if your credit is worthy of it. And there's a lot of stipulations how it's worthy of it. They would like to see a mortgage on there for a period of time, a car that is either being paid on or is paid. They like to make sure you have a high credit card of $10,000 or more in order to give you five times the amount to take the highest cash card you have and give you that. So up to 50, uh, up to 150,000. Some of it will be zero to uh, zero uh, percent interest from six to 18 months. On top of that, they're looking to see how many cards you have and the depth you have. Your credit score has to be a minimum. This is minimum. And they don't have to take it at a minimum. They like to see a 720, but a minimum of 680 with those requirements and with a, a credit card for 10,000 or more. If you have a $25,000, you're going to get five times that. And the, it goes up to 150,000 max. I'll take your highest credit card and give you that max. And your credit cards cannot be maxed out. The credit lenders like to see if the perfect world, if they taught you in the beginning when you were in grade school and then high school, how to, work your credit and understand how to handle your personal credit, you all would probably, when I say y'all, I mean, if you really understood the game, see, they make money off of people with poor and bad credit. If everyone actually has stellar credit, they would have a lot of 0% interest rates and they're not going to make any money off you because you can move them around. You're going to learn how to flop here, flop there. When you learn the art of moving the money around and paying the cards off, man, there's nothing they can say to you or stop you. You can have, you can have a high credit limit, but yet you're only really allowed 25% on the safe side, 30 max on overall expense on your personal account. On corporate credit, if you had a million dollars in the card and you spent a million dollars, you can go apply for another million dollars and no one's going to even sweat it. So I just want to make you guys let you guys know again, corporate credit gives you a lot of power. And, and, and it means, yes, every month, if you're not applying for something, you're behind the eight ball, behind the eight ball. All right. You never want to bring the pain home. This is one thing we want to really start beginning to hammer on is you never want to bring the pain home. Why would you listen to a lot of people that tell you, get in debt, get in debt? Now, I don't mean corporate debt. I'm talking personal debt. Credit cards only there for a safety, Apple. Only for a safety. It's not meant to be used in a position to where you're going to be, uh oh, I got to worry. Uh, I just spent, I have a card for 150. I got this real estate transaction I got into. I'm not saying anything wrong with real estate transactions. Now you got to hope and wish nothing goes sour. But it was on the corporate card and it went sour. It's not coming back to you. It's not coming back to you. But when you, the minute you do that $150,000 cash charge on that personal card, you now saying that you really know that if it comes home, you can handle it. Really? Tell your wife or other way around, tell your husband. Then tell your kids, man, I blew 150000 and I got to go ahead and get it back. Better yet, I blew a half a million because I combined all these cards I had together. I had a 150 a 150 and better yet, at 600 because I had another 150 150 I pulled all that out to go ahead and buy this big building. And it's going to take longer than what we thought. La di da di da. Then you can't just go out and apply for another one. In corporate credit, if you build your thing up to a million, your job is to keep building it after that and keep building it. And learning how divisions will protect you. And learning how tax IDs protect you. Learning how you can have $10 million or a million dollars. And knowing that when something comes, now you can be the beast that you declare uh, that you declare you are, not using your personal side, but the business side, and knowing that you know what I'm gonna make really money. I don't have to worry. 
But on the personal side, you worry. You can't even go ahead and be with your family because you worry. Oh my God. Oh my God. I hope it comes through. I hope it comes through. Man, you know, I, I really do. Man, I, I, I hope. Man, I, okay. Um, I'll, I'm going to chill out for a minute. I mean, folks, come on. Why do you want to do that to yourself? Never bring the pain home. Think about it. Calculate this. If you can make money and put the money that you make away that for the family and use the OPM, other people's money, to keep making the money, you, the, the, the foundation's been laid to you. It's been laid for you already. And I'm going to show you why in a minute why I say that. Now, how do you start building business credit? Several new business credit building strategies out there we have. When I say strategies, these are strategies that the, the big fortune, I'm going to say fortune 1000 use and do use, and the smaller ones do as well. But I also want to say a strategy is not something that's sneaky. It's not something that, oh, 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 oh. no, it's a strategy that everyone uses. And, and here's the thing. You all, a lot of you get all upset and bent out of shape because, well, how they get to use it and I can't? Because you've never been taught the strategies. The strategies are the most important thing. Like the strategies in building personal credit. The strategies in building personal credit. And a lot of you will work sacrifice to build your, your personal credit strategies. And you only can use 30% of it, max. <laughs> what good is that? Well, I have five cards at 500,000 at 30%. You're still labeled at 30%. To somebody that has five cards in the, at 500, half a million dollars each can go ahead and spend all of it and go back and get more without any problems. Why? Because they have the scores right. And that corporate credit works different than personal credit. In fact, the more you spend, the more you're going to get. And the less you spend, they're going to take it away from you. But you're saying, well, evidently you need that credit line because you're not even using the card. Someone let it sit there. You've got to learn how to alternate it every other month or every, every, every two months. If you're not going to use it, then you got to learn how to alternate it. And then when the opportunity comes, bam, you're ready. You're right there. This is what I'm telling you is this. I'm, 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 I just want to get it across so you guys really understand is that establishing and following the strategy that you will learn and that you get from Corporate Credit Blueprints. At corporatecreditblueprints.com, we, everything's live. Even tonight, you got to see this. I had this one thing on, on, on the corporate site, the website. Didn't show you the PowerPoints. That's, that's what happened. What are you going to do? Oh, my God, I'm worried about what they're going to think. Who cares? The bottom line is, is the information accurate that I gave you. You bet it is. Again, fact checkers, I like you guys. I do, I do, I do. I love you, fact checkers fact checkers because of the fact when I get your uh, input on it, man, it's awesome. Hey, well, this is good. Oh, you, you're coming. Well, also, you know, I looked at this site too, so you might want to check this too. Thanks. I mean, you guys are great. So, all right. So, in other words, you can, do your, you can do your business credit in 30 days, and there's additional strategies for that. There's additional strategies for, strategies for that that we talk to on the phone and go over because they'll be here. We'll be here all night <laughs> till tomorrow morning. All right. So, now, the next thing now is this. This is what you're looking for, folks. This is what you're looking for besides Dun & Brad. You're looking for the business experience. You're looking for the Equifax and TransUnion. This is how you build credit reports under the SS. And I don't mean the old back in 1945 or 44 or 41. Not that SS. I'm talking about the SS4. That is for the corporations to get a tax ID. You want to learn how to use those forms. Those forms will make you lots of money. Better yet, it will protect a lot of your assets. Okay? It will. I promise. Now, when you learn how to go ahead and use corporate credit tax IDs and how they work and how they structure, it's one of the greatest things on the planet. Because when you start getting stuff in the mail and cards or a credit card for you, even if you've been in business for 60 days and you get a gas card that you can go use and charge on there. Yeah, of course it has to be paid back. But you know what? You're building something more powerful than your personal credit. Yes, build your personal credit for safety. In case something comes up, for instance, I would, if the, during the COVID season, 
if you did if you did someone didn't have that credit and i know they ate it and my heart goes out to them you know god almighty i do not know how they how they made it i know some of them gave up they quit they quit in life i mean i understand that but let me ask you at least in the emergency don't you think the creditors would understand hey look it this is all i had to keep my home feed my family or take my family to the doctor they're sick pay the insurance premium folks that's what it's for but your corporation when you build it up and keep building the corporate credit you'll have enough money to there's a way you could properly take care of it so even if you have the money from the corporation no business coming in there's a way and strategies that other companies do sam's does it costco does it and also another thing don't you do you think everything on the shelf is paid for no 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 it's all on credit all on credit another thing if you guys really want to see something pull pull walmart's credit pull amazon's credit you can pull it anyone can pull it you just need their name look up their address where they're at the main boom pull it cost you 179 dollars now pull for instance the people that you want to apply credit for pull their credit and when you get a turn down personally or on the business end of it you're going to realize their ratings is not like yours your rating and the, and the corporate side is way better than theirs see you think they're stellar credit folks go investigate i just gave you a big nugget because there's a strategy as well that if you're applying for a card for the business or personal that no one's even mentioned by pulling their report and don't do it online you want to do a paper application i know it sounds crazy to say a paper application now i uh i've tried it online by submitting it uploading it it's kind of like yeah okay whatever but when you submit it and put it in paper and send it certified woo -wee, it's amazing that the approvals you get they don't even mention that because you, there's something else you write with it and so on. I'm not gonna get into all that. But the thing is, you get to find out. Okay, I'm gonna apply for uh, you know, Citibank. Go apply Citibank, uh, Dun and Brad, and also apply for the. Also, you can buy. You can go ahead and purchase a business experience. It's not like personal credit. Anybody has access to it, folks. You could check on any business you want and say, "Wait a minute, you're gonna treat me this way when your score's like this." And show them your business score. Well, mine's 85. Yours is 65. And you want to say what to me? Well, hold on a minute. Maybe we should talk. Maybe you're in trouble. Here's another thing a lot of people don't know. Now, when I say a lot of people don't know, I have older students that are still doing this, doing this to this day. You ever hear of a thing called involuntary bankruptcy? Man, that's a beast to do it with. I used to do it, but um uh, it, it's pretty hairy because you just take you really do take over the company i mean i i still know how to do it i just didn't like some of the after effects because some people kind of ended up without money not 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 us how would you think how would you know how would you feel walking into oh let's just say a, a, a 20 million dollar business real simple low on the totem pole and you're able to take over it and walk right in because you have all the paperwork because they thought you were full of it. And you went to court, everything else, and they still thought you were full of it. Now you got the rights to walk in and you kick the boot out to my chair, pal. I'm the owner now. There's a way to do it. Folks, I'm telling you, when you have corporation and corporate credit, you could do a lot of things. Not in the personal world. And no one's ever mentioned this out there. This is the level I'm talking about. We play at corporate credit, but we play at a higher level. We don't play at the beginner level. The beginner level is fine for those of you who want to do something because I understand. I once started out with a dream and now I'm kind of like all over the place. And it's great. Nothing wrong with it. So anyways, let me get moving. Too much info. My, my, my screen is saying too much, too much info. All right. You're going to learn how to go ahead. We're going to teach you also corporate credit blueprints and we're going to teach you how to use the SS form because you're so secure, you only got one number and one time to screw it up. And if you do, you're going to play time. I, I know these great, there's great guys out there. There's some good great guys out there. They're teaching about personal credit. Uh, I like uh, 
Mikey likes it. All right. I like Mikey likes it. That he teaches about stuff, stuff. He gives you stuff to work with, but still people don't realize it still takes time. It still takes time to do it. You have to do the work. You've got to fill out the paperwork. And you still got to wait on some other stuff that he does in any business 60 days. It's usually 60, 90 days. That's the time frame in the world. There is no microwavable building credit. If you're looking for microwavable overnight, you want to buy a business that way, you can. But there's a lot of paper you got to take care of. It. If it's not done right, you're going to lose all the credit that's there. Folks, I just want to let you know, learning how to establish corporate credit and your way to build your line of defense. If you look over to the left, you're going to see the yellow thing. That's your company. And then under there are your line of defense. Line of defense is what you're going to begin to learn what they do for you. All right, next. I already told you before, if you're here, my, my previous class two weeks ago, three weeks ago, I already told you who created this whole thing for you. And it's created so you can win in the corporate credit. Personal credit was meant to keep you in bondage and in slave bond. It meant, it's meant to keep you on the modern plantation where you have to keep going to work every day, keep playing, paying the slave masters. And every day you get the, well, every week or twice a week or twice a month, once a month, whatever it is, first on the 15th, 15th on the last day of the month, whatever it is, you're getting your modern day plantation paycheck. You're getting all the leftovers after they take their stuff out, the write off this, that, and the other thing. Now you got to use your leftovers to hope you can make it in life. So in corporate credit blueprints and building business credit, you can make it because you're building credit. They give you credit and you're allowed to use the credit and you're allowed to use to take the profit. Excuse me. You're allowed to use whatever comes in and you take all the expenses off the top, all the expenses off the top. And then what you're left with, you pay. And when you even pay at the gas station, it doesn't matter what you're paying the taxes to the corporate gas cars but when you come home and you work 40 hours a week and you're doing a, you know doing great in life making one hundred fifty thousand dollars a year you're still uh, working on the modern day plantation folks look it up study your history this is why the united states incorporated themselves and then had the 50 united states incorporate themselves and the cities and municipalities incorporate themselves and finally they got the people with the social security numbers to keep track of the slaves. Come on, folks, do your history. Fact checkers, millennials, I challenge you on this one. Go check and tell me I'm inaccurate in this. I spent since 1985 and I made it my mission to understand why is this so powerful? And I finally understood it years ago. Wow, because they didn't want to be part of the modern day plantation. So they figured how to go ahead and create it while in Congress and the Senator how to go ahead and create inside of that particular item to create a way so they can go ahead and have make money, use money, get money into the business and have someone give them a loan so it's not saying they're bribing them or whatever it is. Now they got two million, you know, five five hundred thousand, five hundred billion dollar loan. Uh, don't tell me that's not bribery, <laughs> especially if they don't have the financials to get it. And on top of that, whatever. So I want to let you know how it happened. You've got to read the 14th Amendment. Do your homework, folks. Get yourself out of the modern day plantation. Get yourself out of, oh my God, will I ever get out of this? Yes, you will. Even if you took time to build your corporate credit, your time will come. Even your, when you build your business credit, your time will come if you have it. Even if you have $100,000, you can get yourself something and start working. Something else is coming up that there's someone out there, several people are going to be genius at what comes around and they'll be prepared because of the, they joined the business world. Meaning you don't have to play by the rules, which means this, you can play by the rules and do what they say, but you don't have to go ahead and make anything up because the rules are there for you to win. And the personal credit, forget it. Also, the rules are there for you to win. That's why there's so many of them, at least 322 different rules. Now, for you want to win with them? Guess what? You've got to begin. You've got to get back into school again, unfortunately. But here, when you graduate, you graduate with something. Those who went to college, you know, you got those who have college bills left over, student loans. When you came out, you came out with debt. With At least when you're building your, your business credit, you come out with money to use. Hello? So anyways, it just tells you, again, how the Supreme Court, in some cases, did it. 
and controversial, made it a legal concept as corporate personhood. That's why a corporation is considered a legal person. Corporation is a legal person. And this is why attorneys rather support a corporation or get hired by a corporation because actually that's where they, what they were designed for. And later on that. All right. This webinar is for you. If you are if like you're building your corporate credit, uh, you build unbeatable and just things that's going, the webinar is for you. If you're looking for money to grow your business. Also, most people fail trying to start business credit. Why? Because most people don't know that a tax ID or an EIN number can be built regardless of personal credit quality. Yeah, I don't care if you have a personal credit of 301. That has nothing to do with your corporate credit. Many don't understand the business building credit, and that's why they back off of it. And also, most people don't have don't know the right vendors to apply for, and, and so on and so on. They just don't. Bottom line is, a lot of a lot of you just don't really understand. Those of you who understand, what are you waiting around for to go ahead and learn how to repackage and get your business with that much more credit? Learning how to daisy chain what you have already and protecting your assets correctly and and with a peace of mind. Show me what your attorney put, put together. I'm not here to be your attorney. I'm not here to be your uh, CPA or your accountant. I'm not here to be your financial advisor. All we do is consult and coach, but I'll be glad for you to show me, show me what your attorney put together. And I'll be glad to go ahead and rebut it and tell me that and, and have them show you where it's not accurate. No problemo. All right. Here's the thing about line of defense. We talked about that, but this is what you learn in the course. This right here alone is at least a half a million dollars of the structure, right, folks, in about 18 months. Now, at Corporate Credit Blueprints, I want to say thank you very much for being there. Thank you for listening. For those of you listening, again, here's the information to give us a call. Also, it's, our phone number is 888-471-4252 at extension 2001. First of all, I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for listening. And that those who listen after this message, remember, we do have that Christmas special. It's still on. And the code is 2. It's 12. Twenty four two zero twelve twenty four two zero. If you have that code, you'll get the discount. And I know when that code expires. So uh, you can call me after and you say it to me. I'll just double it on you. <laughs> it's expired. Now here, here's the thing. If you're really going to do something, you do it. If you really believe that your future's out there, then your future only takes place in the moment in time when you put it into action. Then the call to action is to go forward. I know a lot of people you see on YouTube and Facebook, hey, you guys do this. And you know what? You need to call now. This is call to action. Forget all that nonsense. You're the only one that can make the call to action. There is no call to action on our website other than just what we went over tonight. If you like what you heard, you want to learn more, not a problem. You can call. The consultation won't even cost you anything except some time. Take some notes. All we're going to say is this. I had the guy that was on the phone again. I told you Saturday. Called me Saturday out of the blue. He said, I called from your YouTube. I can tell from what number he called from, he, which YouTube he's calling from. You know, uh, it's a slide, translation. And I said, okay, great. What do you want to do? And he said, well, uh, I said, well, you know what? Uh, usually people ask me what it costs. If you don't want to know what it costs, I understand. I'm not here to sell you because here's the thing. If I have to sell you on something, why would I want to go ahead and sell you on something and have to drag you with me to keep you going? Forget it. I am not. I did that long ago. I, people that call me and say, look, at how much the cost of your program? Tell me what it is, da 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 Okay, great. And I ask them what they're looking for. We go through this and that. Okay, great. Now you still want to know? They say yes. Okay, here's the price. Okay, great. What do you want to do? That's it. End of story. Folks, don't worry. You can call us. We're not going to try to sell you. I'm not going to try to force you into a box. If you're really up to doing something, you'll do it. You'll like what you've heard. Tell me some more. Okay, we come up with a design. All right, put a program for you. Okay, you're going to fit over here because not everyone fits in the box. Some beginners uh, belong in the beginner stage. Some beginners don't belong in the beginner stage. They belong a little more. And some beginners don't belong. I, I'll refer them someplace else. I, and I'll tell them, go over here, work on it, get yourself established, and come back and we can move, move a little further. There's some business uh, people that call me that, hey, look, I got you know $22 million in corporate credit, da, 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 da. And I said, okay, great. Uh, let me go ahead and uh, I'm going to run your Dunham Brad. I'm going to take a look. I'm going to do business experience and see what's reporting. And I'm going to see how we're going to package you. Now, some people are straight, which they do have it. Some people are full of smoke. Well, just don't go pull it just yet because, uh, come on. So, folks, you know what? Isn't it time just to start being authentic in the world and realize, you know what? We're here to assist you in getting where you want to go. 
and we like doing that. I get off. I mean, I really get off of that, especially when I say, "Well, I didn't think it could be done," even though you haven't said. I can tell by the way, way you perform. Why not? It's there. How do you think the other companies do it? Do you think they just do it because they had a magic wand? No, they had the systems and they had some someone's willing to guide them, and then they figure it out, and then they finally get big enough and they hire their own little team. Come on, folks. I love you all. God bless you. Have a great evening. And most of all, we'll see you Wednesday night at 9 p.m. Eastern live with more great information for you. Thank you very much.